And it's a cool vibe. Everyone's music lovers and meeting each other and talking about music. So it's like a just a cool vibe. It's one of those things where you have a couple of days and you feel like you've been there for months and yet every minute of it's been a blast. You know, I mean, I think we're, we're going to leave you know, Sunday and be like, I can go back to San Francisco. Um, I think one of the things that makes it really special is the, the quality of not only just talent, but people. Everybody's been incredible. There's just a lot of passion here. You know, I've noticed a lot of people living, they truly are, they're really about the music. It's such an awesome opportunity and it's rare. You don't get to sit in front of people like this and, and play most and, of the time. And is that really, what you think makes Sunset Sessions so unique? Yeah, I mean, having all of these music supervisors, radio people in one room, um, they can decide whether you're gonna make money this year. And that's, for a musician right now, that's huge. Um, especially for an independent musician like myself. It's so unique because everybody's here basically just partying together for three days and I got a feel for it for the first day that man all of these radio programmers and um, you know music programmers they're all just like old college buddies you know and they have a great time together they're they're open to just talk to whoever I've been able to just walk in a room and they really they really accept all these up and coming artists with open arms it was super exciting. Um, I'm from Sweden, so this was basically my first performance here, ever. Uh, so it was super exciting, uh, a little nervous, uh, but I was so happy on stage. I felt really comfortable and, I mean, obviously I love my record and I love the song, so it was really exciting. Well, what's good about this is I think everyone gets the chance after they perform, to sit around and talk to one another and have a laugh and just to see what everyone else is about. I mean, when you see people perform on a stage, they do their thing but you don't really know anything about the person that's on the stage. And afterwards here, you get to see everyone, you get to see the room, just see what's all about. Sunset Sessions is awesome because it really gives opportunities to artists to be uh, presented in front of the people that are going to be able to really help make a difference in their career. And it's, it's an opportunity to just connect with people that can potentially really uh, get behind your music. Definitely. Yeah, and it's, it, this, this is an event with a lot of heart. That's really what I would say is the difference, the ultimate difference. People are here to connect on an authentic level, it's not like a chasing kind of like schmooze fest. It's like people are here having a good time connecting. Well, I love being in San Francisco. I have a history of San Francisco. I used to live here when I was 20. I moved here from Maui in order to get inspired. I played at some places on Hayden Ashbury. So it's great to be here in this city, but also to network with other musicians and so many people in, that are in the music industry that my manager and I are meeting tonight has been super awesome for us. To start off with, it's a closed event meaning it's not open to outside public, uh, but everyone in this room has the ability to bring whatever they hear to the outside public. Uh, so it's a good place to bring brand new material that no one's ever heard before, uh, meaning new songs no one's ever heard, and just to give people the first listen. It feels amazing. The support in this environment is just fantastic. So many people were there to high five me and everything after my set and it was just, it was so, I thought it was going to be extremely intimidating being in a room full of industry people, but it was encouraging and they were very supportive. One of the most important things about Sunset Sessions is the fact that we are dealing with the most important and the coolest people in the industry, which is radio programmers and uh, music supervisors. Not only are these people, people that can change our lives, there are people that are about the music.